Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the SB2C5 Helldiver added in the French tree and in patch 1.73. It sits at 4.0 better rating and we're on Sicily at the moment. We're gonna do some ground pounding and shooting at enemy planes if they dare to come after me. <laughs> Now this plane is actually quite a bit of fun, it is very versatile and uh, it has a few surprises under its hood. The maximum speed of the plane is not too great, it isn't a fast plane, it is 390 kilometers an hour at sea level. If you go up to 4500 meters, your maximum speed is 334 kilometers an hour and at 6500 meters it is 315 kilometers an hour. Now that is, it is not bad I say, it can actually go to that altitude, but it's definitely not fast. Any fighter will be able to catch up with you very easily. Top speed in a dive is 625 km an hour before it redlines and 710 km an hour before it rips. It also has a nice stall speed of 120 km an hour, so it stalls very late, which is quite nice for such a big heavy looking plane. Now in the dive, the control stiffening, the compression will start at around 450 and then especially in the roll rate and it really becomes notable at 500 km an hour. That is the roll rate, the elevator stays functional and you can definitely pull out of the dive without much of a problem which is pretty good for a dive bomber, right? Now the firepower is pretty good on the plane. It has two 20mm A and M2 cannons with 200 rounds per gun which is quite nice when you get into a pickle with an enemy fighter you can defend yourself it also has a turret with two 7.62 millimeter machine guns with 200 rounds per gun I found the range of the machine gun absolutely atrocious though the tail is in the way so I never would advise you to use that tail gunner a lot you will get killed before you can get a shot you're better off trying to turn with the enemy plane because the maneuverability of this plane is actually very good. But let's go into a few other things. First, the bomb load is quite good. It's very versatile. You have several torpedo options. You have a lot of bomb options as you go through the several modifications. And you also have a rocket option with eight HVAR rockets and uh, that rocket option is what I chose to go with and that went pretty well I have to say now the acceleration especially in a dive is good the energy retention is good in the horizontal and in the vertical it is bad to decent let's say depending on what kind of speed and angle you're going into the horizontal the climb rate is bad it is nothing to write home about it takes a lot of time to get altitude but um, in a dive it is good and uh, the climb rate well you get down to the ground level and you fight there and you don't necessarily need to go up again so that's not really a problem for the plane as it is not a base bomber but definitely a ground target bomber you can also do some shenanigans in the air of course with these rockets you don't always hit though <laughs> Unfortunately, even if the plane is as big as that German gunboat. Now, the turn time in the plane, let's talk about that, is excellent. The width flaps, it is really amazing for a heavy dive bomber. Uh, you can surprise a lot of planes, as I will show you a little bit further in this match. The roll rate is, compared to fighters, is bad, but for, uh, for such a heavy, big dive bomber, it is actually quite decent. So all in all I would call the maneuverability on the plane good. Overheating is not really something uh, that should be mentioned. It is not bad. Uh, it's easily controlled let's say once you get into the uh, overheating phase. Not much of a problem I'd say. So all in all a very enjoyable plane. It can take uh, a good bit of damage as well as you see here. And actually, if the damage is unequally spread over the wings, it does impede the flight model negatively, of course, like with most planes. 
But if it's damaged like this, it's equally on both wings, then you can still maneuver with the plane. And we're going into a dogfight here with this G55. As he comes up again, we're going down. And as you see, it is not easy for him to get the guns on target when uh, we are going into the extended dogfight, especially once he loses a bit of speed. Now my flaps have been damaged apparently, asymmetric flap extension, so something has been damaged. So I should not use it a lot, but uh, I, it, I didn't seem to notice it in the, the, the dogfight itself, that I had my plane pulled to one side or the other, and it also looked to be quite equal still, so maybe it is just light damage and one is damaged slightly more than the other, but it's not noticeable. So I keep using the combat flaps here in this dogfight with this guy. As he basically lost all his speed and we are maneuvering quite nice against each other. We get a hit in. We are, we have the initiative here. And he knows it. <laughs> it's just getting the guns on target now. So the maneuverability of this plane when you get slow is actually stays very good and we defeat the G55 in a dogfight. So not bad at all I would say. <laughs> there is his buddy again, that's the guy that I critted earlier. I think he tried to go back to base but his buddy called him back in for help so he decided to come back in. And he's coming for a head and he's coming for revenge with his buddy for his buddy but uh, we managed to shoot him down as well and I bite the dust in this match after I get three air kills and it should have been four I should have gotten those rockets on that BV-238 that was that's a huge target I should have should have done better there more lead was required now in this third match we are approached by several fighters uh, first and foremost is Ta-154 who's coming up for me I am of course the more maneuverable plane than this one but if he is fast over the top he can be very maneuverable in his first loop so I managed to avoid his shots there and now we are starting to get the upper hand we almost got guns on target there And he knows he's in trouble. We get a crit, a hit and a crit there. Crit on the cooling system it seems. He's leaking oil. And we basically are trying to finish him off here. We do have the upper hand but he's making some nice maneuvers there. Some negative pitch. And uh, he avoided me for a bit. But finally we do get him there. He did manage to pull us down from altitude though. So we are completely down to ground level now unfortunately as our team seems to be slaughtered again the Germans are very strong at this battle rating 3.7 4.0 this is a d5 we don't want those 20 millimeters on us so we get him just before he's able to get them well on target but he did get a glancing hit in on the engine cowling and my pilot seems to be wounded but I guess he survived <laughs> that's good We've got a Fokker Wolf above us and we have a P108A series right in front of us and I was... Come on, and you should have done better there. <laughs> Missing the rockets again. I'm sure you can have more fun with on planes with that thing. We do get him though as our third kill there. And we try to get our ass back to base now as we have zero rockets and only 24 rounds left on our cannons. Look at the visibility from the gunner, it is absolutely atrocious. Don't take the time to get into that gunner, it is just useless I'd say. Unfortunately we do get shot, our engine was killed after all on the way back and we get attacked by three planes. Dying there unfortunately, three kills and one death. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now this plane is absolutely fun to fly. You can dogfight with the G55s who are very good at mid to low altitude as you know. And this plane stands it man against planes like that which is very fun. 
and it also has dive brakes I almost forgot to mention that but it's a dive bomber it has dive brakes uh, for having people overshoot you the dive brakes can be excellent because they are very effective and they slow you down very rapidly the other plane can probably not do anything about it and um, fantastic to use that you can have some nice shenanigans in this plane it's very maneuverable for such a big dive bomber and um, the cannons make sure you can defend yourself well and you can shoot them out of the sky while maneuvering with them you also have some very nice rockets with which you can also shoot things from the sky and of course are very effective against ground targets but you can also use bombs or torpedoes or whatever you like very versatile plane this and i would definitely recommend you to fly it it's a lot of fun guys i hope you enjoyed the video i want to thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye bye if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button become part of this community if you are already a subscriber don't forget to like the video do leave me a comment and if you really feel like helping out today make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel